Right, so it's time to cook up a storm in the Expresso kitchen. And if you still didn't decide what to cook for dinner tonight, we've got you covered with a three-course meal that's sure to please every member of the family. Now, these meals aren't only tasty, but very, very simple to prepare as well. And in the Expresso kitchen, we have the lovely Chef Alice back Hello, with us. how are you doing today? Good, good, good. So you're going to be tantalizing our, ta our taste buds. I am indeed. Are you morning. hungry? Look, I'm always starving. <laughs> I love my food. First up, before we're going to talk about what we have here, let's quickly talk about the crew branding because I understand it underwent an, an upgrade. But it did a bit. What we found was that customers were finding it difficult to identify our product on the shelf. So what we wanted to do is we wanted to say, in this can, we don't just have lentils. We've got cool lentils. We wanted to push through the homely feel. We wanted people to connect with our brand. So that's why we've got our beautiful new packaging. All right, perfect. Well, there we go. Okay, go. let's get into the food part because, um, you know what, I think uh, living in such a fast-paced life, mm. we, need, we need dishes that we can put together very quickly. So here you, you have a three-course meal that Absolutely. we can just, you know, just within no time just put together. Absolutely. All right. And so it's a super, super, super meal. What we've done is we've got the most divine little sausages, ready-made pasta sauce. We've got our cool lentils. Wonderful thing about lentils is they're super high in protein and they add a lot of body to a meal. So it's really great to extend a protein with a vegetable protein like our lentils. Okay. And you know, they're super convenient. All you do is open them and pull them in. Love it. So we're going to be making a, a, a Budapest and lentil hot pot, and then you've paired it with a nice little salad. And what is that? Can I call it a, what is it? What kind of a cake is that? Bun cake? It, it, this is a guava, a canned guava, and a little bit of passion fruit just to bring out the acidity, brings out the sweetness in the, in the guava. Right. And then we've got the most beautiful little drizzle over the top. And the stunning thing about this cake is it is so versatile. You can use it as a pudding. Or imagine this in the, as a centerpiece at a kitchen tea, especially for a little girl because it's got pink in it. <laughs> Absolutely. Cool, let's go on to our hot pot. How do we assemble this guy? What do we okay. need to do first? Okay, so what we've done is we fry off our bravos, chuck it in with our, our carrots and our All onions. Right. There we go. Let's... Oh, That's listen it. to that sizzle. Nice, wow. nice, nice. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to brown the sausages off. Yeah. So you keep them whole like this, you don't Absolutely. cut them up. Absolutely. Look, All you right. can cut them up. What that would do is possibly extend your meal a little bit more, so yeah. it looks like there's more meat, even though there's yeah. not. Or you can do this, and when you plate it, you've got a beautiful little sausage. Okay. Okay. I like right, the onion. idea of keeping them no, in beautiful. one piece. Okay, right. How are we doing in terms of our onions? Looking what? good. They're looking nice and almost, what is the word? Good. Translucent. Good. Super. What we're trying <laughs> to do here is we're trying to sweat our onions. We don't want to burn them. We just want to get them see through. That lovely, sweet, cooked onion smell That's coming it. through. All right, so once okay. that done, what's next? We're going to chuck all of that back into this pot here. Okay, so all of okay. this comes back there. Absolutely, and that sounds like a bit of a double step, but the reason we did that <laughs> was we wanted the flavour to come through from right. the burros onto the there we go. onto the onions and onto the carrots. There we go. Wow. Come on, come you, on. Sure. Look at that, look at that, you see? You have a very lucky wife. I told you I'm very handy in the kitchen. Oh, wonderful. That's what we all like right. to hear. Okay, <laughs> let's just spread it up so it looks nice. Can you do the spreading for me? You okay. are a genius at spreading. <laughs> wow. Okay, then we're going to take our lentils. Okay. We're going to sprinkle them over the top. And again, the reason we do that is we want the flavour of that lovely borovos to come through. That's it, that's okay, it, that's it. Okay, fantastic. Now what I've got here is I've got a lovely ready-made pasta sauce, which you're going to chuck into our pot over there. All right. Are you going to keep stirring for me? Absolutely. Okay. Okay, do you want to just scrape that down for me? Perfect. Awesome. Yeah. Wow. Let's get every last drop. Yes. No point in wasting with the economy <laughs> the way it is. There we Perfect. go. Perfect. Okay. So we're just going to heat this through, basically. That's exactly it. I'm going to add some beef stock, which we've already mixed together here. Okay. Looking good. And then what I've got here is some lovely chutney. You can use a chili chutney if you want it to be a little bit hotter. Yes. But this is, gives it a lovely sweet and sour taste. Because remember, the tomatoes are very, very, very sour. That's it. Okay. Then we've got a little bit of a bay leaf. Oh, and smell flavor. this. Smell this. Fresh That's rosemary. So fresh. Oh, rosemary how, straight from the garden. How beautiful. There we go. All right. I love the fact that you kind of just throw everything together. Oh, absolutely. There's not much prepping involved, which is great. No, no, no. Super quick. Okay, a little bit of nutmeg. The reason we put the nutmeg is, is just to boost the flavors of it. Okay. And then what I've got here is a bit of balsamic vinegar. Again, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get that sweet, sweet sour balance. That's it. If you wanted to, you could put red wine in if you were looking for a more luxurious meal. All right. There we go. And then what you want to do is you never, ever, ever cook without tasting. So what we want to do is we want to put exactly the right amounts of salt in okay. that all the flavours come through and not too much. So what I want you to do is taste first and tell me whether we need a little bit of salt. Are you ready? All right, yeah. yeah. Ah, good. There we go. What do you reckon? Salt? We do need a pinch of salt. Just for luck. Just, just for a, luck. Just, just a sprinkle. Are you ready? Yes, go for it. There we go. That's perfect. Awesome. So what you're going to do is you're going to let this simmer for a couple of minutes. 
Okay. And we do that, we just want the flavours to develop nicely. That's it, you want it to unleash all oh, of those flavours. Oh, absolutely, the passion of your Bourbon <laughs> smell. <laughs> Alright, cool. Okay. So once this is done... Pop it on top of Basically, my... Basically, let's go for it now. There, there we, we go, go, don't burn. Perfect, and that just goes straight over. over there. Oh, look at that. Oh, smell <gasps> those flavours. Can you... Definitely all of that, that but that richness and comfort. The one flavor that I can pick up though is that rosemary. It's beautiful. Very, very nice. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Then, can you open the oven for me? Absolutely, here we go. Teamwork, you see? Okay, absolutely. Go. Now we're going to just pop it in the oven for half an hour or so at 180. There we go. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, fabulous. Great stuff. Well, there How you have it. How easy was that? Very, very easy. A Budapest and lentil hot, uh, hot pot. Easy as that. If you want to get your hands on the recipe, very easy. SMS is the keyword KU to 33728. That's KU to 33728. We'll send you the shopping list. Also, a link to the recipe that you can go follow. Just keep in mind those SMSs do cost 1 Rand 50. But if you want to see one more time how we made this delicious hot pot of ours, here's your chance. Brown the sausages, then remove from the pot. Sprinkle lentils over the sausages. Fry onions, carrots and garlic until soft. Add rosemary, pasta sauce, nutmeg, bay leaf, chili, chutney, balsamic vinegar, beef stock and seasoning. Simmer for 5 minutes, then pour over the sausages. Bake for 10 minutes. For the full recipe, visit the Expresso Morning Show Facebook page or log on to expressoshow.com. You can also SMS the keyword KU to 33728 to receive the shopping list on your phone. Click on the link provided to view the recipe. SMS cost one rand fifty. No free SMSs and T's and C's apply. And that keyword once again, KU. SMS that to three three seven two eight. We'll send you everything you need to know to make this beautiful, beautiful hot pot. Alice, this was really quick and easy, and it Good smells food. delicious. And of course, if there's Buddha wash in, you know, it's definitely going to become a favourite of mine. So absolutely. there we have our main meal, but we have our our accompaniments as, as well. Absolutely. Oh, so we do. Right. So I love to start my meal with a beautiful crunchy salad. Okay. Balances out the nice richness in the in the Buddha hot pot. So what I've done is I've simply just broken up some cos lettuce. I've popped some of our awesome, awesome bottled beetroot, a little bit of feta, a little bit of a crouton. So that would be your starter. Easy. And then your main meals we've discussed. Yep. But remember, you can serve it with couscous, you could serve it with rice or with pup. Or Personally, pop. I would serve it with pup because Absolutely. for me, burravos and pup just goes so beautifully together. <laughs> it does. And then lastly, our exquisite cake. So if you can see it, there we've got some beautiful little, beautiful guava inside the middle of it. And That's you could it. serve it with a lovely dollop of cream. Or you could leave it just as it is. That's it. Alice, thank you so very much for spoiling us this morning. This is very, very easy to make, to put together a three-course meal. Now, if you would like to get your hands on the recipe for the salad and also this beautiful guava cake this morning, just head to our website, expressoshow.com. The details will be on there. But for the hot pot, remember that keyword this morning is KU. SMS that to 33728. We'll send you everything you need to know. And then, of course, also, if you have a dinner idea or how you cook with a KU product, send those recipes to us. You can send them to food at expressoshow.com. That's food at expressoshow.com. Com, and who knows, we might choose your recipe and Alice over here might be making that recipe live on air. It's going to be fantastic. Alice, once again, thank you so much for spoiling us. I'm going to take this for breakfast this morning if you Enjoy don't mind. It. There I've we... got this one. <laughs> you can take the cake. Remember that <laughs> keyword. Food at expressoshow.com. Only the best cooks serve Koo because they know it's carefully grown and made with meticulous attention. So when you serve Koo, you can trust you serving only the best.